Hey guys, it's Natalie. So I thought I would do a quick little face of the day since I haven't put up a video in a little while. And first off, I'm not going to be editing this video. I just kind of want to film it real quick and get it up. So I'm probably going to mess up, say um a whole bunch, and stumble over words, and all the things that I usually try to edit out. They will be in this. So first off, here's my face of the day. So I have on um, some green shadow. Then I have this like kind of a goldish light brown. I'm horrible at describing it right now. And then some pinkish cheeks and a nude lip. So that's what I did. And this eye look, I kind of have a tutorial on it. It's not the exact same colors. Uh, it's a tutorial on how to incorporate color into your everyday eyeshadow look. So go ahead and put that down below. The only difference is I'm wearing blue in that tutorial instead of the green. But let's just get started. So first off is the foundation. I'm wearing the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse. I just have been loving this lately and I actually bought another one because I'm already all the way down here as you can see and it's just really lightweight and does give you coverage but something nice to kind of wear every day because I mean I'm just going to school so I don't need to have on a complete heavy full face of makeup or anything I just want to have a little bit of coverage so this is in the shade 180 nude beige it's the second to lightest shade in case you guys are wondering then to set that I used elf complexion perfection I need to go buy another one of these just, yeah, translucent powder to put on top of it. Then for my face, just kind of as a bronzer to give some more color and warm up my face, I use the NYC Mosaic Face Powder and All Over Bronze Glow. And I prefer this one a lot more to uh, the Sunny Bronzer because, as you see, it has, like, brownish in it. So I use it right here and then my upper cheekbone and then a little bit up here and a little bit down there just to shape my face. And then for blush, I'm using the Elf Studio Blush in Pink Passion. It's a bright, hot pink matte blush just in this area. And then for eyes, so I haven't been using eyeshadow primer because I've been having issues and still I'm a little bit scared of makeup, honestly. I had a while where I was getting like allergic reactions. Um, I got one and then it cleared up and went away and then like the next not the next week, like the next month, and I got another one. I was like, oh, okay. So I haven't been using any primer because I think, you know, the primer is supposed to, like, absorb all the oils so that your shadow doesn't crease and last and everything. And I think it was irritating my eye a little bit. So I've just been using cream products. I don't have a really bad problem with creasing anyway, though. So, I mean, it's been fine for me. But just in case you're wondering, no eyeshadow primer on right now, I've just been using this as a base, the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And that's all over my lid a little bit into the crease. Then for eyeshadow, I'm using this eyeshadow, which I love this color, so if you don't have it, you should pick it up. It's the CoverGirl Eyeshadow Single, and this one is in mink. And they have that on the inner half of my eyelid. And then on the outer half and the crease, I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon Single in Envy. That's what it looks like. And yeah, this outer half and the crease, and then blend it up a little bit. Then as a highlight, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon Single in Brulee. That one, and that's just a matte cream color right under my eyebrow. Then in the inner corner, I picked this up at Ulta and it was on sale, because uh, I normally don't buy, you know, expensive high-end things. Not because they're not good, because I am honestly very cheap, <laughs> and I like to buy things that like, no, it should only be a few dollars, I'm not going to buy it if it's real expensive. That's just the kind of person that I am. So I have this Stila Smudge Stick. They had this one and the silver one. They were in a little pack, uh, 9 dollars for both of them. And I went with one of my friends, and she already had a gold eyeliner, and I already had silver eyeliner. So we bought both of them and then split the cost, and I kept the gold and she kept the silver. And I really like this a lot. But I use that right there on the inner corner of my eye. And then, where is it? Then on the lower lash line and then on my tight line, I'm using the Elf Cream Liner and just in the color brown. Then on the outer half of my upper lash line, I used a little bit of the Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. And this is by Elf. It's just the one in black, so that's right here. Then as mascara, I use my Maybelline Full and Soft Mascara in Waterproof. This is basically all my mascara I've been using lately because I just love how it performs on my lashes. And what else is here? Oh, eyebrows. Just in case you guys are curious, I always use this every day. It's the e.l.f. Studio Eyebrow Kit, and I just use the powder right there. So 
this on my eyebrows. Then is the lip color. I bought this the other day and I wanted to try it out. It's basically just like a nude lip liner lipstick, but it's the e.l.f. matte lip color and this is in the one natural. So that's what that looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little face of the day. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below and I will talk to you all later. Oh, and also if you want to see a picture of the look um, more close up, I have one over on my Facebook fan page, which all my links are always down below, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye.